So we just did the grouping of uh, this kernel map and it was step 3. We had already kernel map and we performed grouping on that. And now let's do some grouping on random kernel maps. Let's say we have a, a four variable kernel map. Let's say we have variables A, B and C, D. So we create kernel map to be four by four. And so cases are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And I should mention again that it's uh, very crucial that, uh, it's just crucial, that uh, the sequence is like this, as I said before. The sequence of cases should follow so that every second uh, case is different from the previous one with only one value that means you can have uh, you can have sequences 0 0 then 0 1 but you cannot have sequence 0 0 1 1 this would be a wrong sequence and the sequence say 0 1 next one uh, 1 0 then 0 1 this would be also bad sequence and I promise that I will tell you what's the big deal with these sequences and I will uh, I will give you a kind of hint uh, the point is that if you have uh, this kind of sequence then the whole uh, well basically uh, it's the sequence that allows us to have such a nice uh, grouping rules. If uh, the sequence would be different, the grouping rules would be very messed. Because if every second case differs from uh, every next case is differs from the previous one with only one value, that means that if you grouped if you have some, some group, that means uh, that this cell, the value uh, correspondent, uh, corresponding value for this cell, will be different, will differ from this one only by one. And that's what uh, uh, I, will, I will speak more about that uh, later. And so we have uh, our kernel map, and here we have also sequence for A, B, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And let's fill it in with something. Say 1, 1, 1, something, something nice. Okay, so uh, I will skip zeros. The zeros are just disturbing. So how can we group this kernel map? First of all, uh, we can do that in different ways. But as you have a kernel map in front of you, try to see uh, from the first moment where the, the going around the boundaries will benefit you. So start looking at the boundaries. And you can see that you have four cells here, and you have four cells here. That's how can, you can group. So first thing I would recommend is to see where you have uh, lots of ones near the boundaries, and try to use that. Then uh, afterwards, when you have covered all the boundary, over uh, boundary, going around the boundary cases, like this one. Uh, you should look where overlapping will benefit you. 
but uh, let's say do we have any going around the boundary case here except the first one I, I I honestly don't see any then uh, where can we overlap step let's say we have a very nice uh, four four cells group here let's make it like this and we have another four case four cells group here so as I see it it uh, uh, satisfies our requirements all the groups we have groups of uh, eight the red one is group of eight cells and the blue one is obviously four and green one is obviously four cells then uh, we have uh, they are all rectangular yeah even the red one is pretty rectangular uh, it just goes around like pac-man uh, minimum number of groups can we make any less number of groups uh, no I don't think so and each group is as big as possible well I honestly can't see where we can overlap something more so yes this will be the solution for this Karno map let's let's draw another another one So, like this. You know what? I will even skip uh, the, the variables and, uh, and variable cases for, for, for now, because uh, what we are doing, we are uh, uh, practicing grouping. That means that uh, the values and the variables will be uh, we are not interested in them now we will be interested in them later in, in part 4 where we, uh, we'll make, we will get an expression out of each group so let's say we have something strange and uh, uh, Yes, so what can we do here? Just a random thing. I don't know how many groups there will be. Uh, what we have around the boundaries? We have uh, these guys. Can we group them somehow in a cool way? Yeah, we can, co we can group this one with this one. I will take another color, not to confuse you with this map. Uh, this one and this one there are two cells uh, group uh, then obviously this one uh, you cannot do anything with these two except just group them in one small group then next one oh we have pretty much a lot of groups here uh, like this we already again we see that we have we can use some going around the boundaries then uh, we can group these two and we have one left and we cannot actually group it with anything at all it just it's by itself we will group it with itself yeah that's uh, that's another example